confession when she says, move over, I have the goggle. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, what brings you to town? Shelly, I've got a smart kid here. He's got some good ideas about how to revitalize the Shangri-La. Revitalize? What are you talking about? We did 35 million last year. But why didn't you just hear the kid out, huh? Shelly, I want you to know that I have nothing but the utmost respect for you. You've done a tremendous job with the Shangri-La over the last 16 years, and I don't think anybody can dispute that. Yeah, nobody doubts that, Shelly. But the business has changed. Just take a look at the strip. You see what I'm talking about. <laughs> what? You mean that Disneyland mook fest out there? Huh? Come on. You know what that is? Huh? That's a fucking violation, is what that is. It's something that used to be beautiful. It used to have class, like a gorgeous, high-priced hooker with an exclusive clientele. And then along comes that Steve Wincock sucker and knocks her up and puts her in a fucking family way. Now she's nothing but a cheap, fat whore hiding behind too much fucking makeup. I look at her, I see all her fucking stretch marks. It makes me want to cry because I remember the way she used to be. Am I right? Well, there's no arguing the bottom line. Those places are raking it in. And the Shangri-La as she is now can't compete with that. You think I'm trying to compete with that? You think that's what we're about, trying to bring in the fucking stroller crowd, fresh off some fucking e-ticket ride, trying to break the house on red and black? Fremont has never been about that bullshit. This is where old time and real money come to play. Numbers don't back you up on that, Shelley. Don't get me wrong. Nostalgia's great, and we love nostalgia. But nostalgia belongs in a museum. So I think it comes a time to decide whether you're running a museum or you're running a casino. <laughs> 